Hello everyone! Happy New Year! And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's New Year in Sandrock. I have no idea what all of this stuff is for, but here is her boyfriend, Arvio. Oh, my sweet darling. Did you sleep well? You look like you didn't sleep it well. Nothing. When I see you, all my energy comes back into my body. I'm worried about you. Don't come here every day, okay? About me. Huh. Well, you don't have to be, but uh, I guess I'll do as you say. We have a long night ahead of us. We've got plenty of time to spend together. Okay. <laughs> I won workshop of the see. year. I didn't even know that. What time is the awards ceremony? So dear Barry, in a remarkable turn of events, it seems that you clutched the number one spot for workshop ratings last month. You even managed to best me, Yan, president of the Commerce Guild. Don't worry, I'm taking it very well. I'm not resentful in the slightest. I will of course have a committee looking into how you managed to achieve this, just to make sure everything's on the level. But until then, enjoy the spoils of victory, thousand goals, commerce badge, data discs, and water. Note. Spells of victory subject to reclamation if it comes to light that the rating in question was achieved through extra regulatory means. Congratulations, if you really did win, your friend and supervisor, Yan. A letter from Danby giving us a cantaloupe? Okay, let's check the calendar. Oh, 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 the award ceremony is already going on. Shoot. <laughs> I think the awards ceremony is in the Commerce Guild. Probably. Greetings, subordinates. Here Looks we are. Like not all of you made it. Nevertheless, it is fortuitous some of you are indeed here to witness our prestigious ceremony. Yep. <laughs> Let's just cut to the chase. Okay. The builders have all carried out numerous tasks, picked up commissions, done, uh, things. Many of which were menial and unfulfilling. Some of them, I assume, were helpful to our city in some way. Okay. But one of you stood out among the rest. Okay. One of you went above and beyond the call of duty and built more buildier than any builder has ever built before. <laughs> er, uh, in the last year. Okay. It is with great pleasure, I, President Yan, on behalf of the Commerce Guild, hereby present the esteemed award for Workshop of the Year. Woo, that's me. And the award goes to... What, what, what the... I thought I... What, what is this word? This isn't my name. How do I even pronounce this? That's funny. Hey, it's just bear. it's you. You won. Go get your award. Cool. Those two guys are the same. Three of the people are the same. That's hilarious. <laughs> He's so dramatic. Oh. I guess Yan won silver then. Totally earned that win. Yeah, Yan second. Yan's third. Like, how can she be third? I don't think it's that hard to beat Yan. We should get this one. Do I have any of these? Oh, I, don't, I only own one. Let's get this one. And the steel bars. I'm making steel bars anyway, and I will need to kind of make some steel soon while we're at it. Let's look at the map. Nothing going on. Um, but there was something on the calendar. Owen's birthday, Rocky's birthday, tour the rock. Okay, so that's... I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm confused. But I have finished the thing for to improve the train station. Oh, here's Nemo. Let's send him out. He's our first pet. Let's see what he does for exploring. Okay. 
Okay, get these dues. And it seems like we're also going to need to make the gift boxes for when for Arveo for when Musa comes. So we're gonna be replacing that sign there. Okay. With these two. Let's take a look. Are they just gonna have like a cool graphic where it moves in its new afterwards? But that's the old one. It's incredible. I've never felt like more of a conductor than right now. Yeah, you knocked it out of the park. I'm so confused. In fact, I think you should be here when we greet Mr. Musa. I'd like him to meet one of the most promising additions to our township. You've really been pivotal in helping us turn the tide here in Sandrock. Okay. I agree. So, what do you say? Sure. Splendid. Musa is scheduled to arrive in two days, early in the morning. Just come to the station around that time. See you then. See you. Like, which part of this was new? Looks exactly the same as the old one. There's a chest up here somewhere. But I just can't figure out how to get to it. It's probably up there or something. Can I climb the train? No. Is it just inside? It's inside. Silly old me. Okay, stop bugging. Okay, let's go ahead and purchase this pigment that we need. Oh, I have to start the commissions too, but let's go ahead and finish the pigment first. We just need to buy- ooh, it's expensive today. Let's just buy 10 already. Oh, that's good enough. I could have gotten discounts at Arvio's place, but I didn't feel like walking that far. Let's go ahead and see what we need to make the Yakmo station. Okay, rough cloth we don't have. Uh, our hardwood planks, we have that. We don't have bronze stick. Bronze sticks, uh, rough cloth. Okay, let's go ahead and- oh, what- what are you doing here? Okay, rough cloth. Let's just make ten right off the bat. And then we also need bronze sticks. Let's also just make, like, ten. Ten. And then we also need steel bars for the other commission. But... Let's see what our what we're low on. Bronze bars, always low on bronze bars. Oh, not that's not too bad. Steel bars are actually pretty low, and we're low on iron as well. Just get that for now. Let's see what we can do with our recycler. Let's start with the copper scrap. Next, we'll do. We can do iron scrap. Okay. I for sure thought I had something there. Okay. Why is the train stopped? Where's Jensen? Oh, here he is. Howdy. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Catch you later. Oh, I need to make the gift boxes. I'm going to talk to Coco when Coco's on there. The Tour de Rock. What was I going to do? Oh, gift boxes. Alright, let's go ahead and give these 
give the, give these to Arvale, and while we're there, we'll buy some more pigment because we used our stash. Or we only have four left to make these. Is that just garbage? Oh, I thought it was like an actual item. Here's Arvil. Thank you so much. All right, leave the rest to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say. See ya. Um, let's see what we can buy. Pigment. Oh, there's only one pigment at by the stairs. That's kind of silly. Talk to Macchiato. Okay, well, it looks like there's not much more to do for now. So I'm gonna get some iron from the Giegler place, and I will be right back for the tour de rock. Good morning again everyone and welcome to the Tour de Rock. It's raining in Sand Rock and I think this is the first rain I've ever experienced on Sand Rock. But I don't know what the Tour of Rock, Tour de Rock, exactly is. But it's great that it's raining. Good morning. I wanted to stop by to see the look on your face. This is your first rain in Sand Rock, isn't it? What do you think? Isn't it amazing? Oh my god. Oh, and such a cutie. Holy moly. Wowie zowie, I'm blown away. <laughs> Whoa. Didn't know you were such a fan of the rain. <laughs> Glad I stopped by. So cute. By the by, in honor of this momentous occasion, I'm throwing a celebration tonight down at the Blue Moon Who's around Kugo? 8 o'clock. Kugo will play music on the stage. Everyone will be there. It's gonna be a ball. It's great. It's hmm. amazing. There was one more thing. Burgess wanted me to tell you, uh, something about conserve water. No, you already knew that. So what did he want to say? Oh, yeah, that is it. You might want to set out some dew collectors and other containers today. I have a feeling they'll be way more effective than usual. <laughs> Call it a hunch. What are right. other containers? Better head off. Getting kind of damp out here. Blue moon, eight o'clock. Come hungry. Okay, cutie. What? Um. I wonder what containers actually work. Machines. Other. Oh. The water tank wouldn't work because it's not open. So none of these would work, right? I'm guessing. Something like... I wonder if the stone... No, it would have to be in the furniture area. Something like a bucket. <laughs> we don't have that. Okay, well... I am shamelessly going to look it up. Containers for rain. Sand rock. Wooden barrel. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot make it. Okay, so let's read this mail. From Burgess. Oh, here, he gives us a wooden barrel. Dew alert. Code dew. This is it, guys and gals. The mother load. It's raining. This is not a drill. Drill. Repeat. This is not a drill. Get your dew collectors out. Your pots, pans, water barrels, containers, anything that can catch the rain and load up on as much water as you can. Get it while the get-in's good. Official chairman of the Is It Raining Committee. P.S. Here's a water barrel for you. First one's free. Next one's gonna cost ya. Or you can build any container yourself. Dooby dooby doo. Letter from Mort gives us yellow lavender. Okay, let's put down. Oh, whoops. Let's put down. Where is the wooden barrel? Oh. Oh, 
Okay, so let's put that down then. It's fairly small. Let's empty these for good measure and let's check what time the Tour de Rock is. It's 12. Is the Tour de Rock the sand sledding thing that I was like, is that what it is? That was like meant to happen earlier. Oh my god, it's just started and it's already like filling up. Okay, whatever. We can't stay there forever. <laughs> okay, we do have an event there in the far left, which we can get to before the Tour de Rock. Let me just get this ammo. Okay, it is sunny a bit while raining. Let's see what this event is all about. Talk to these cuties. I was hoping to kind of also befriend them soon. I can't find that darned chest right there. Okay, what's happening? I ain't saying no exactly, but that's good, Sheriff. Then you'll be over at 7 p.m. What's happening? Uh, hold on there. Not exactly no, ain't exactly yes. What is this all about? That sounds awfully paradoxical, sir. It's their birthday. Not so much of a paradox as it is a vague statement. Uh, forget it. Well, can I bring the building? Sure. Oh, sure. I don't care what's going on. I'm in. Just like that, huh? I mean, you don't even want to think about it? I don't even know what it is. Life on the edge. Looks like you're both in, Sheriff. <laughs> now, hold on a minute. I don't even know what it I'm is. I'm planning a dinner party tomorrow night. Captain can't make it. But oh, I it's tomorrow. The theme is soup. Soup. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. But I ain't saying I don't want to come. Okay. So you do want to come? Jeez. Well, I just don't want the builder to miss out, you know? What if they're busy? <laughs> Are you busy tomorrow night? Tomorrow? Free as a bird, baby. Ah, that's great. All right. Just... <laughs> 7 p.m. at my house. You don't have to bring anything. But you can if you want. Just make sure it's smaller than a house. Got it. We'll bring soup. Uh, I've been putting this off. He's a good partner, but kind of weirds me out a little. I always wanted to keep our relationship, you know, professional. I think I'm sure it's cool. Uh, maybe I just ain't taking the time to get to know him. Like, uh, really know him, you know? Though, he's been on the force for some time now. I reckon I probably owe this one to him, huh? Yep. If it's just me, <laughs> and it ain't like it'll be rocks. Needed some backup. Well, with you there, I reckon it's gonna be fun. Actually, it'll be good to get to know the fellow who's always got my six a little better. Yeah, anyway, that's a good way to think about it. I'll see you there, partner. Okay, I was worried it was gonna be tonight. I don't want to repeat of that whole Katori and New Year thing that happened last time. So when you play um, Sandrock multiplayer, these things fill up when it's raining and you can collect from them but that seems like it's not the case we can't buy buckets either that's a shame it's also kind of a shame that we can't really like put out anything else other than that one thing because you know i would love to like this is a big deal you guys like and I don't want to make more, like, two collectors. And it doesn't seem like there's anything here that would be useful. So yeah, nothing. Anyway, let's go check out commissions. Uh, should we get Owens? Do I have tanned leather? I don't have any tanned leather. Plastic pipe, canvas, I don't want to do any of them, I'm already ahead, okay, well, let's, I don't know, what should we do to pass the time while waiting for the tour to rock? 
We should see what soups we can make. That's an idea. What soup can we make? Why isn't the wooden barrel working? Like, am I supposed to put it, like, somewhere specific? What does it say? Let me check. The wooden barrel can be put on the water. Oh, it only gives two do and full, so it's, like, not even useful. I think our best bet is to make a dew collector. Super dew collector, can we make this already? No, we don't have the magnesium... Magnesium... Magne magnesium... Oh my god. Magnesium aluminum alloy. I don't think we do. Because we don't have... The right um, furnace. So we have. This isn't the furnace we have. Where's the. F Do we have a civil furnace? Yeah, we only have a civil furnace. So. We could make another dew collector. Seems doable. Wooden sticks. We're gonna need the leather stone trough. So how do we make the leather? Is it through here? Or it's at the work table. Work table, that's the answer. Hi Nemo. Okay, can you go out today and... How about steak? Let's see, we need two of these. And we need three leathers. We should buy some salt soon too. Okay, and since this has happened, we should start on getting the next furnace level, which shouldn't be too bad. It means we just have to go to the research center. I don't know, like, why I'm running. I know I can- I know I have a mount that I could use. But I've decided to run. Was that smart? Probably not. Alright. Furnace. We should get the industrial furnace now. I think. We have a lot of data disks, so we can speed it up by... Let's just speed it up by three days. I think that's fine. Hey there. Mm. Okay. See you later. I am still dating him. And Arvio at the same time. But I don't go on dates with them, so it's not, like, a problem. And then... There's a couple other things that I'm having a hard time with. And one's like finding the chest that is on this building. Or is it not on, is it on the ground? I don't think it's here. This building and the one uh, in front of where Amira lives. Like, oh, silly me. I was gonna make a video on this of like getting the chests but i realized if you have an ability that tells you where the chests are i don't think it's that big of a deal oh is that where we're supposed to go shoot we're gonna be late let me save quick save okay let's just take the yakmal station to the sand sledding place we're gonna be a little bit late Okay, so that's why everyone's there. What? I can't believe that there's like no Yakmo station over there. Ow! 
Ow. Oh no, my stuffy fell. Okay. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh no, we're slightly late. So this was this was the event that I was like, it's not working. But it looks like we figured it out. Um may have missed something. Alright. Stan Flood Sensation. Join the competition. I am very bad at this. Okay, I'm gonna be second. That's not bad. Is there another one? Oh, uh, there is a second competition. Let's look at the store. I don't know if any of these are, like, any better. Oh, this one's nice. I want that one. And this... Oh, no. What are these... things? Okay, well... Join the competition. Alright. Okay. Oh no! No! How can Amira be admiring my... 35, that's all I got. For 24. Uh. Some of them can be put in the exhibit. Okay, well... That was kind of underwhelming for an event, I have to say. But what can you do? That's the event, folks. Okay, well... I think since we're already in this area... I want to say I want to go mining. And I probably will. I'm gonna go... Oh, that's not even what I wanted to do. We will be a little bit late. Well, we're VIPs. What can we do? Okay. Let's go party! Party, 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 rain party! Bye bye Okay, let's go. We're not building here. Mm -hmm. You can never have too many water towers, that's true. Welcome everyone. I want to thank you all for coming together tonight to celebrate what can only be called a miracle. <laughs> I've lived here in Kugo. my Kugo. Life, and in all my rainy days, few as they may be, I never thought I'd see one quite so rainy as this. Hugo is Cooper and Hugo. The skies opened up and our most precious resource fell down on us in rivers. It was truly humbling to see so much water at once. Yeah. In true sand rock fashion, I saw neighbors helping one another to collect as much as they could in every bucket, vase, and container they could find. Often working together to gather far more than anyone could alone. Yeah. As a result, sand rock has been blessed this day with almost more water than we could store. But more than that, Sandrock has once again shown its people to be generous, clever, and kind to one another. Okay. Tonight, Cooper and Hugo are going to entertain us. Grace and I cooked up a feast, so do everyone. All you need to do is kick back, enjoy the tunes, and help yourselves to a meal. Thank Tomorrow, you. Tomorrow, we'll be back to our dry, water-conserving selves. Tonight, we celebrate our good fortune. Not just in the rain, but also our good fortune in having each other. Owen could be the mayor. He is, like, so charming. Like, he could say Let's anything. Celebrate. But also, he's, like, so nice and kind and thoughtful and smart. <laughs> he's probably, like, my... Just listening to the tunes. 
Got some tunes. Where's the free food? Hello. Uh huh. Hey, see I thought you there was gonna be free food. Ha. Where did you get the food? What? I'm developing new recipe. Gosh, darn it. I thought there was gonna be food. Oh well. So, we do still have a pretty busy day tomorrow. Because... Why are we busy tomorrow? Because we do have to... I think tomorrow is when Musa comes. Thumbs, but we can also do Tour de Rock twice again and then head over to Unsure's to get some stuff. I'm glad. Okay. So. So I was right that Musa comes today. He does come during Tour de Rock. Huh. Kind of a fashionista. Dear Trudy, nice to see you again. And you must be the builder. I've heard you were essential in working with Heidi on the bridge project. Oh, thank Welcome you. Welcome to Sandrock, Mr. Musa. And that's right. You've really done your homework. Though I shouldn't be surprised, seeing as how you're the most successful man in the world. <laughs> Nod solemnly. Right. Well, let's head over to City Hall. I'd like to meet with the architect and discuss potential plans for the road to Porsche on your end. Sure. Oh, uh, sure. Um, well, actually, we've got enough time. Why don't I show you around a little bit first? Wouldn't be my first choice of plans, but... I wouldn't want to be a discourteous guest either. Please, lead the way. Splendid. Let me first bring your attention to our lovely new train station. It just installed recently by... Looks solid enough. Me, the builder. Star on top is a nice touch. This is your handiwork, I presume? Yep, I put the team on my back. I work with other... Yes, I work with other people to make this happen. Yes, thank you. Everyone plays a part around here. That's been key in our recent success. No okay. man is an island, as they say. Yes. Shall we continue? Of course, okay. sir. After me, please. Sure. Why am I so this nervous? Is our game center. Oh. Uh... Yes. I saw the original some time ago. I believe it was a small shack with only one game, and I didn't care for it. Oh. Well, that's all changed since now resident entrepreneur Katori moved to town. She's really turning the place around. Say, there she is now. Let's go say hello. Okay. How did you do there, neighbor? I brought a new pal around. Perhaps you might recognize him? All right. Well, the promotion I was running ain't running no What's more. happening? Nothing. Stay out of the bathroom. Toilet's clogged. Trudy? M Musa? Here? Is Hi. she gonna panic? I'm Game Center, and this is my Katori, and... This is my Katori. I... I'm so sorry. I'm Game Center. She ran away. Oh, um, shoot. I guess we caught her at a bad time. I could swear she's a real fan of your work. It's alright. It happens. More often than you think. 
I'm sure she'd love to meet you after she gets some air. Mm -hmm. Right, air. Gotta have that. What's next? Ah, yes. Our next stop is actually what I wanted to show you the most. Our little wood. Mm, okay. That's right. The desert planet. I read about what you're doing in the Atar Times. Interesting stuff. Yeah. It is, isn't it? Let's just dip over here to this yak mail station to your left. Okay, we're taking a yak mail cart. Ta-da! I hope this doesn't take Behold, too long because I do want to ride of life. the thing in my that will one day flourish into a full-fledged forest, restoring Sandrock to its former glory and greenness. Okay. Mm, looked bigger in the photo. Okay. <laughs> well, yes, this has only been the first step. I mean, this is, what, a tenth of a league? Roughly that, yes. Okay. And it took you how long to reach this point? Uh, the point is the bio crust. That's right. The major development was in the technological department. Now you're terraforming soil out here? Yes. Uh, I'll admit I'm not as well read on the subject as perhaps I should be. If okay. I'm being honest. I'm more interested in the logistical benefits the road would provide to my business. I'm afraid I can't really speak to my enthusiasm for such a project at this time. Feels like a business I'll man. have to come back and take a look for myself. Speak with some of my people back in Atara. Get a better picture of what all this bio crust stuff is really about before I can make an informed decision on how to feel about it. Yeah. Of course, of course. You should also meet with our horticulture expert, Zeke. I'm sure he can answer any of the more scientific questions you might have. Okay. Well, furthermore, Trudy, I'm iffy on a few other things, too. Like? Uh? I don't go in on a project unless I'm 100% on it. Gail, I'm 100% on it. And Portia, they're putting their own money up for their end of the project. You lot, well... Well... Everyone's heard the rumors. Sandrock's on the decline. And not everyone's convinced desert greenification is possible either. Heard from the council, they have trigger bills written, ready to classify dispersed sand rock citizens as economic migrants. Well. Yeah, you've got yourself a hotshot new builder, and I'm a fan of your architect's work as well. But without good citizens behind the scenes holding everything down, I tend to agree with the naysayers. I need to see that your people are going to stick it out, even if things get hard. Anyway, do you have anything else for me to see? Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, this way, please. Where are we going next? And last stop on the tour. That there is our super reinforced water tower. Okay. I take it you had a hand in this as well? Uh, yes, with help, of course. Starting to notice a pattern here. Furthermore, it is completely and utterly 100% bandit proof. Okay. Right. I plan to bring that up as well. Jeez. Rest assured, sir. There's really only one bandit out there giving us trouble, and it's only a matter of time before he's been brought to justice. Okay. Besides that, there's really only so much one man can do. We've always built back faster than he can hurt us. Isn't that right, Builder? Yeah. It's not to underestimate the power of the individual. That's mm -hmm. also true. Of course, of course. We're not taking things lightly at all. How about a quick pit stop over at the Blue Moon before we meet Heidi? You must be famished after such a long journey. And our little walk. <laughs> the Atari Express dining car happens to offer my favorite breakfast this side of the continent. Oh. Uh, but they didn't have yak milk. Yep. Yeah. So, time for some yak milk. For the most part, however... I will say I do like what I've seen so far. Hmm? Oh, they had like a small party thing. Hey there, I forgot about this. Uh, glad you could stop in. On behalf of everyone, I'd like to extend a big sand rock welcome. Beauty. Uh, thank you. All right, boys, hit it. Oh no, it's Kugo again. This one. That I definitely didn't write today. It's called Why Not Just Give Us All Your Money. Oh my god, Cooper. One, two, three, and up. 
can't help but get the feeling you lot are trying to butter me up. Are we buttering him up? <laughs> yes, well, it's just that we care so much about our town. Yeah. The band is playing. You didn't run the lyrics past me. This is a song about greed. Oh, they're Easy, fighting. partner. Rich guy's watching. Overcoming greed is one of the core tenets of my Church of the Light beliefs. You made me play a song about it. <laughs> they're having a fight. Oh, no. This is awesome. Oh no, he got go, hit. Go, go, go. Oh, 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 let's go, go. I'm that robot. Told you it was no good. No one else from Chechi. We've got a code eight for progress. Over. Build it. Ah. This is insane. Baby. What does this button do? Purchase no. Oh no. This is crazy. Uh, oh, We're kind of... That's hilarious. I, uh, we. I'm really terribly sorry, sir. This almost never happens. So it is. The first rule of business is to invest in people. That's what I came here to check out. I'm glad I got to see this. Oh no! Save myself a pretty penny. What? Oh, 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 wait. You mean? I respect the fact that you all have lasted this long, but I can see that y'all are prone to disaster. I see now why people are leaving this town. No matter what short-term success you might have, I just don't see a future. I'm sorry. Oh no. And look, despite all this, I can still help. I can move you all out to the northern Ufala, where the Alliance is setting up new settlements with their north development plan. They have water up there, unexplored ruins, and grazing grass. Oh no. I can no. get you jobs there, safe jobs where you can't possibly harm anybody, or yourselves. Help you get your lives back on the right track. The thought of you folk holding down my central hub? Nah. Just not worth the risk. Oh no. Huh? None of you are excited about that? None of you at all? You have an opportunity right now to move to a place where you're not always fighting an uphill battle. At my expense. Oh. Sandrock's end. It's gonna happen with or without my help. So I suggest you all think on my offer. Okay. Hey, old timer. What about you? It can't possibly be safe for you to be living here. Come with me. We'll set you up with a nice place by the water. Uh, is it talking to Mort? Me? Oh, a kind and generous offer. Your reputation is well deserved. But no. I'm afraid I won't be joining you. Well, he found it, Sandrock, with Martel. What is it with you people out in this desert? Life doesn't have to be this way. You don't have to struggle and scrape by your entire lives. Yeah, I get that this is your home, but you can have a better home somewhere else. Okay. It's more than that. If I may, Mr. Musa. I think Mort's gonna turn this all around. Some time ago, there was a school a ways down the road. Sandrock was a livelier place then. When all the trees were cut down, the sandstorms got worse. We didn't notice it at first, but... What's he doing? The children were on their way home from school when it struck. An amber claw. The storm reached greedily over us. The skies went black. Okay. Mortal and I went out looking for them, but Mia, Tang, and Akil, they did not return. Okay. They'd have been a bit older than yourself now. We made a promise then. A promise that would save this land for ourselves, for the people of the desert, for the children, those that will be, and those gone, lest their sacrifice be in vain. Mm. For a time, I thought I would have to break that promise. But my son, he never Zeke. gave up hope. 
So and sweet. now, with more help from inspired young folk like Trudy, Heidi, the Builder, their discoveries, I believe we have a new hope. <laughs> I believe in these people. I believe in Sandrock. Okay. I believe in Sandrock. Yep. I believe, I believe in Sandrock. Sandrock. Even more now. For Jess. Oh, like, should I just say it? Should I be enthusiastic? Should I say nothing? Should I say it questioningly? Um. Wh how? Does it matter? Uh, maybe this one. This seems more like me. Sheesh. Well, Sheesh. what do you say, Mr. Musa? Will you give us a chance? Okay. <sighs> Sounds like nothing I say will change your minds. Hmm. Sure as heck doesn't look like you're going anywhere happened. either. Okay. I almost I lost audio for a little bit. All right, fine. We'll do things the hard way. I might have judged you all a bit rashly. I'll observe Sandrock for a while longer. One more chance. But I need to see significantly more inspiring behavior. Okay. Oh, that's all I could ask for. Okay, what time is it? Uh, Mr. Musa. Before you go, could I trouble you to enlighten us? What exactly is the Northern Development Plan? Is this really the time? Answering your question would be the least of my troubles today. Sure, but I'll have to make it quick. Okay. It's no secret to anyone that tensions between Duvos and the Free Cities are rising again. Firefights have broken out over the ruins of Orzu and Ethia, which Duvos also claims. We can hope for the best, but... We need to prepare for the worst. Yep. The short of it is, the Northern Development Plan is an alliance initiative, one meant to beef up our collective defenses in the north bordering the Orzu area, should there ever be hostilities with Duvos again. A war? Do you honestly think it's going to come to that? No, I don't mean to alarm anyone, but... Duvos and their ambitions are unambiguous. Many, including myself, believe that they wouldn't stop at Orzu, were Ethia to even concede that. I think their emperor has made that perfectly clear. Still, we are much stronger than before. Goodness! Okay. I thought the plan was just about jobs and stuff. Well, I suppose I'd take Sunrock of a war to run Borderlands any day of the week. Don't get me wrong. It is about providing new opportunities for anyone willing to move there. It's just that there's also a strategic dimension to it. Most likely, once we strengthen the North, Duvos will leave us alone for good. Ah, okay. I see. All of this seems relevant to the story. Ah, yes. Well, thank you very much for answering Arvio's question and providing such insight into the state of our alliance. <laughs> the people have a right to know. Shall we then? Sure. Okay, it's still the morning. Which is good. Don't worry, precious. We're going to get you fixed up soon. That's his precious. Hey. Thank goodness you're here. Can you take a look at the mobile suit? It's a bit short. Sure, I'll take a look. I keep a care package with various mobile suit repairing materials on hand for just such an occasion. I need only your tool expertise. Shall we then? Hmm. Boop. Fantastic work. This repair was far quicker than its last. The rate of progress you have maintained since arriving here as a builder is statistically improbable. You should be proud. Now, if you will excuse me. Okay. Bye, Key. Hmm. He gave us a visor. Let's see if we can wear it. Shirt. Defense plus 18. Bone ring is a little weak. 
I don't really like it. Let's just wear the bone ring. Can be in I'm gonna have to rebuff all this burned wood furniture. This is the worst disaster to ever happen in Sandrock history. What about yeah. the sandstorm that Ma just told us about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess I forgot about that. Uh, still top three for sure, though. Okay. And then these two. I, I done wrong. As soon as I heard that rich feller wanted to do an investment on us, I, two big gold signs appeared in my eyes. I was blind. But now I see. Uh, We're so dramatic. I said the best of us, brother. Now let's throw the sheet music in the fire. And never speak of this again. Okay. I think that's all that's gonna be happening in here. Okay, well. Seems like I now have time to do the tour de rock and. Oh, we should have checked the commissions. Tour de rock and dinner at Ensure's house. But I'll keep that to the next episode, probably. Just because. Uh, oh, this one's easy, Bloodstone 4. Okay. Er, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Let's do. Let's do Ensure's dinner. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a bit of a sand run, and uh, I mean sand, not sand run. The tour de rock, and I will meet you at Unsure's dinner in a little bit. Hello everyone and welcome back. I just finished- I just had like the weirdest combination of win and loss in the Tour de Rock. Because the first one I won first place, the second one I won last place, I legitimately contemplated on um, redoing it, like loading the game. But I decided not to, so now we're on our way to... I'm sure his house for a dinner. We are slightly late, just barely. Just fine. Hey, you're here. Justice is at the dining table already. You two can talk a while. Maybe avoid the subject of soup ingredients. I may have worn him out on the topic already. Oh, well, hey, I'm sure his mouth didn't move. He introduced me to his friend Wilson. It's kind of freaking me out. Is it a rock? I swear he's giving me the stink eye. Yeah. Food's ready. Thank Thanks, you. Unsure. Hey, uh, this looks really good. Thanks. I made it from stuff. From stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep. Made it from the stuff. From the stuff. Wow, I didn't know you were a chef. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I didn't know you could cook so well. When did you learn that? I don't know. I just read what's on the page. The recipe huh. book? Yeah, I guess that is pretty simple. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, you follow instructions well. Thanks, boss. That means a lot. That means so much. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Good conversation happening. So. so seen any nice rocks lately? That's a good one, yeah, Justice. I saw a great one the other day. Yeah. And can I see it? What I rock? Pretty comfortable where it was, so I left it. <laughs> uh, what were you like when you were young, Justice? Aw, oh, heck. Getting nostalgic, are we? I guess. I played around a lot. Used to follow around my old boss. Thought he was the meanest yak hand I ever seen. Yeah, I can't do this old sheriff. 
He used to be I'll young. take that as a compliment. Me and Owen used to play Sheriff in Sand Bandit. I guess I always had it in me, huh? I guess Owen played Sand Bandit. Wow, Sheriff, that was a great story. Less yeah. of a story, more of a statement, but, uh, what about you, Unsure? When I picture you when you were little, well, I just imagined a tiny you. Yeah. I money, boss. Especially when I was a baby. Real tiny. I used to collect pebbles, too. How things change, huh? Yeah, Not really. That's right. I'm not a baby anymore. Um, I can see that. So, yeah? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Shoot anything recently, sir? Well, I mean... This is so awkward, recently. but so amazing. Yeah, of course. That's right. Saw the whole thing. Uh. What recently? <clears throat> Did you ever meet... The old sheriff, I'm sure. No, I never met him. Sounds like a cool guy, though. Aw, oh, man. You don't even know. Things that guy could do. Okay. Sounds like you really respect him, boss. Respect That's him? That's good. I would have given my life for him. And he would have given his right back. He was always there to support us. Where did he go? Sounds a lot like you, sheriff. Aw. Aw, oh, shucks, unsure. Thanks. But old B3 was still around. He'd make guys like us look like I've blown rutabagas in weak old tater salad. I have no idea what any of that is supposed to mean. Harsh words. Don't sell yourself short, sir. I ever tell you about the Sand Rock Hotel standoff? The Sand Rock Hotel standoff? No. What's All that? Right. So picture this. Guy had gone into the blue moon. This was way back, mind. Before Owen's day. It was called the Sand Rock Hotel. Yeah. Guy was a mean piece of work. Kinda eyes that you know were looking for trouble. Covered his face with a mask, but you can still see that scowl underneath. Kinda face that brought fear to the eyes of regular folk. Got a six shooter, carrying a sack to put the goals in. He walks in and just starts blasting. That's crazy. Right. Lucky no one was killed, but dang. Dang. So he starts blasting and looks Owen's pie in the eye, says, Give me all your money. Now Owen's pa was a smart man. He ain't about to throw down his life for some goals. Yeah. So God leaves. Heads outside and comes face to face with B3. B3. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa's right. B3's standing there, facing down this devil. Ain't a drop of fear in them eyes. B3 just says, that ain't right of you, friend. We treat each other good in this here town. And this robber just lets out this cackle like some maniac. Okay. What happened next, boss? Well, quick as lightning, B3 shoots that there gun right out of his hand, throws down his own, and tackles the guy. Uh, he threw down That's his right. gun? B3 ain't a man for killing. He didn't want to shed no blood, and he had an eagle eye. Yeah. So God gets thrown in jail, locked up, and shipped off to Atara. Ain't never heard from again. Okay. That's really cool, boss. Yeah, I ain't seen a shot like that ever since. I wish I could have met him. Oh, this is such a sweet moment. Yeah, me too, buddy. I reckon he could have taught you a lot. You've taught me a lot too, Sheriff. Aw, I'm sure is so good. He's probably, like, my second most favorite bachelor, like, right after Owen. Huh? Yeah. Pretty much everything other than like walking, talking, a couple other things. I know I learned from you. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you, Unsure. I didn't know that. Well, I guess I taught you something too then, boss. Tells <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you did. Ain't that something? Sure is. Well, it's getting kind of late. Yeah. Right. You know, I had a lot of fun tonight. That's, That's cool. great. You didn't have to. Yeah, if I'm honest, I was a little apprehensive. Yeah. Why, boss? Well, I usually find your unique brand of weirdness to be abrasive rather than endearing. <laughs> Understandable, sir. But I reckon I misjudged you. You're a good cop and a great guy, let alone chef. What do you call this here yellow soup anyhow? Thank what you. Ah, don't worry about it. Anyway, I reckon we got ahead now. 
I'll see you tomorrow, I'm sure. Bye, I'm see sure. You tomorrow, Sheriff. Bye. Oh, that was so sweet. Hey, thanks for coming with me tonight. What do you think I got the guy all wrong? I guess you just gotta break that surface. That weird rock obsessed surface. Yeah. Well, I'm ahead. See you later. See you later, Justice. Well, all right, folks. I think that's gonna be it for me for now. And hopefully, I'll. I'm sure just disappeared there. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!